Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Arpita Karva, and in this video, I'm going to give you five tips using which you can prepare for IELTS exam in just thirty days. This video is going to be absolutely helpful for anyone who is preparing for IELTS right now, irrespective of the band score that they are getting. I'm sure that if you are going to use the tips that I'm going to share with you in this video, your band score is definitely going to go up by two or even three bands. So please make sure that you write down all the tips that I'm going to give in this video. Also, I'm going to share some books and study material using which you can prepare for IELTS exam sitting at the comfort of your home. So watch this video till the end as the bonus tip is awaiting for you. Also, at this end of the video, I'm going to talk about a very, very important mistake that most of the students who fail in IELTS make. Are you doing the same? Let's find out at the end of the video. So, without any further ado, let's jump right into the topic. So, IELTS is spelled as I E L T S. Basically, it's an English and communication test for anybody who wants to study or work abroad in UK, US, Canada, or any other part of the world. I'm pretty sure that those of you watching this video already know about the syllabus and the paper format. But just to brush up your memory, there are four sections in the IELTS paper, and you'll be tested on reading, writing, speaking, and listening. So let's move on to tip number one, which is very very crucial tip, and that is to limit your resources. Guys, understand this thing: the less resources that you follow or refer to for IELTS preparation, the more confident you will become. I've seen a lot of students who are referring to dozens of books, YouTube videos, courses, booklets, etc. for IELTS. The moment that they know that their friend is studying from some other book, they will rush into the market and get that book. And this way, they are never able to finish the syllabus. Remember that a book is just a part of your preparation. It has never happened in the history of mankind that all the questions that came in the IELTS paper came from one single book. So don't believe what your friends say. ये वाली बुक से पढ़ो सब क्वेश्चन से सीखे आते हैं. And as they always say, don't miss the forest for the trees. Now, as far as the book list is concerned, there are two books that I would like to recommend to each one of you out there. If you are going for academic purposes, you should buy the Cambridge Academic IELTS book. And if you are going for general, that means for job purpose, then you should go for Cambridge General IELTS book. Depending upon what you've selected, you choose the book. So it is the only book that you need. You don't need to refer to all the other books that are available in the market. Both these books cover everything from paper patterns, syllables, sections, everything. Basically, end to end, everything is covered in these books for IELTS. And if you have this book, you seriously don't need to buy any other book. So if you want to lean on coaching or YouTube videos, I won't stop you. But I would recommend that you first do your own research about which YouTube channel to follow or which course to follow. Now, don't use more than one resource for IELTS preparation. As far as my favorite online resource is concerned, I really love this channel called Learn with Sam and Ash. You don't really need any paid course if you are referring to them. Also, let me give you a disclaimer: this is not a sponsored video, so I'm not here promoting anyone. It is just that I watched their videos. I liked the content, so I thought of you know introducing them to you. Another good resource is the IELTS app. You can download it from Play Store and start studying right now. I would like you to comment below your favorite resource that you have been using for your IELTS preparation and has worked a lot for you. Friends, now comes the second tip. It is to immerse yourself in English language. Friends, you would be preparing for IELTS exam for let's say three four hours a day. For the rest of the day, you would continue with your day-to-day -day activities like job, watching movies, going out with friends, or preparing for some other competitive exam. I want you to create a twenty-four-seven immersive English environment. Now, that does not mean that you would shift to London, right? You would stay in your hometown. What I mean is that you would try to include English as much as you can in your day-to-day -day life. At least until your IELTS exam happens. Now you would be wondering how to do that. You can start watching good English movies and web series on Netflix and other OTT platforms. Few of my favorite ones are Suits, um, Sherlock, basically Friends, and some other rom-com. Now, basically, any good series that you find and that excites you will work. You 
can start watching any good movie also or any good english series that will help you to understand the accent and the kind of sentence structure that is normally used in english so if you don't understand you can start with watching the shows and movies with subtitle and later on you can remove the sub subtitle and watch it without it now it would be a little difficult for you to absorb the information without subtitles but you will get used to it as much as you practice another thing that you can do is to listen to english songs whenever you can listen to these songs when you are working cooking or doing household works uh start with listening to them with lyrics and later without lyrics listen to these songs again and again so that you understand the accent ek gaane ko ek hi baar sunke mat ruk jao wapas wapas suno so that you understand ki words pronounce kaise ho rahe next thing that you can do is reading now i'm not saying you that you should start reading newspaper or other complicated articles because this is not sustainable i know if someone is not interested in news reading then this would be a big task for them in fact i would suggest you to start with anything that interests you that will be easier for you like there's this book by ankur variku do epic shit it's a very simple book which anyone can understand it's also very very beginner friendly so you can start with that and gradually you can upgrade yourself the next tips i want to give to everyone when it comes to immersing yourself in english is to read listen watch anything that you like that is of your interest don't start watching discovery or history channel if you have no interest in wildlife or history right because that will bore you you will not be able to sustain it for more than 2 3 days start watching something that interests you for example if you're somebody who loves cooking start watching master chef australia or start watching youtube videos in which people from different parts of the world are cooking or if you like traveling then start watching travel vlogs of uk or us based people because if you have interest in something you would absorb the information quickly friends the third important tip is consistency a lot of students in the first 2 3 days will prepare for 10 12 hours with a lot of enthusiasm and then would not even touch the cambridge ielts prep book friends you have to remember that this is a marathon and it is not a sprint and you have to be very very consistent with your efforts let's say one day you woke up late and you couldn't study in the morning as decided as per your time table it's okay don't go on a guilt trip and say ki ab aaj nahi padha subah to pure din hi nahi padhunga i will study from tomorrow because tomorrow we all know never comes recently i consulted a dietitian and she told me a very beautiful thing that let's say one uh, like in one meal you ate a lot of calories okay you basically had chocolates or brownies or something like that now what you should be doing right after having that meal is that don't go on the guilt trip and say that my entire day got wasted and ab aaj to maine kharab kar di hai to let me start junking thinking that i will start from tomorrow rather amend it from the next meal forget that you had a cheat meal in the morning and start following your plan from the very next minute because trust me friends tomorrow never comes michael jackson so na that person michael jackson used to say that in his entire life he never slept without learning one new dance step every day can you believe it and that's the reason why he's such an incredible figure in the world of dance friends remember that consistency can change your entire ball game consistency as the great people say is the hallmark of greatness even though you know that you don't stick to a timetable i would still suggest you to make a timetable when you are preparing for ielts maybe not 100% but at least 20 30 or 40% you will be able to achieve it and once you start seeing the results of consistency your mind will start telling you to be more and more consistent and in the words of my mentor mahatreya a small change sustained long enough becomes a large monumental change believe me or not no matter how who are you are at english your mind will start understanding english songs movies and even books if you are consistent with your efforts akhir english ek language hi to hai koi rocket science thodi hai friends the fourth tip is to set realistic targets now realistic targets kya hote hain realistic targets ka matlab ye hai ki you don't aim to make a leap one fine day if you haven't been in a kitchen before and you plan that you will win master chef tomorrow 
that target will not be achievable. If you are scoring band 3, for example, in IELTS mock today, and if you think that next time you are going to give a mock, you will score band 9. That is just like fooling yourself. Your aim should be to reach band 4.5 first, then band 5, then 6, and so on. With every mock, your target should be to score 10 or 20 marks more than the last mock. Remember in school, first you play for your own school, then you win, then from there you go and play in the inter-school competitions, then you go for nationals and then internationals and then finally, if you succeed in all these games, you go to Olympics. So you cannot directly jump to Olympics without even playing at the state level. You will have to take baby steps. This reminds me of a movie, Manji. Um, have you seen that movie? It has Nawazdeen Siddiqui, where Nawazdeen Siddiqui, who is the hero of the movie, says that I will carve out an entire mountain. And he does by the end of the movie. One single man with that chisel and hammer strikes and makes a road out of a, a mountain by taking one small effort every day. It is such an inspirational movie. And there's this dialogue in this movie, which is very close to my heart. And that dialogue is, Bhagwan ke maro se mat baitho. Kya pata Bhagwan bhi aapke maro se baitha ho. To bhaiya aisa hai ki kamar kaso. Realistic target set karo aur lag jao kaam pa. By the way, before we move ahead, if you are looking for IELTS, BA, UGC net, MA entrance, PhD entrance, PGT, TGT exam update, then please follow us on Instagram and Facebook. You could find us on these social media platforms using our username at the rate Arpita Karwa, we regularly post study tips, free study material on our Facebook and Insta pages. Moreover, every Sunday, we also share quick revision reels on these pages, which will help you to revise important topics in less than 60 seconds. Friends, tip number five is to work on your accuracy first and then on your speed. A lot of students, when they start uh, preparing for IELTS, they start with a timer on the very first day when they give the walk. Their focus is on speed. But friends, until your concepts are not clear, you will never be able to work on the speed. So, pehle kuch din, time laker questions samajhiye. Accurately paper solve karne ki koshish kariye. And then focus on solving those questions within time limit. Let's say you've never been in kitchen before. And I tell you ki, pink sauce pasta bana aur wo bhi 20 minute mein. You'll end up panicking and using all the wrong spices or probably burning down the entire kitchen. Rather, First, what you should be doing is, you need to practice perfecting the recipe of pasta. Aap time leke rose pasta banao, paach din, das din, jab aap pasta bar bar banaoge, aapko recipe yaad ho jayegi. Once you know the recipe and technique by heart, you can easily make it in 20 minutes without panicking. Similarly, if you focus on speed from the first day, you will end up panicking in the exam hall and marking all the answers wrong. You will end up inaccurately answering the questions. I'm telling you. Hence, strategically, you should focus on understanding the questions and concept first. And I think that would take about 10 to 15 days at least. Once you know the paper pattern, concepts are clear, you can then start focusing on the speed. Now it's time for the bonus tip. But before that, I'm quite eager to know how you felt about this video. Did you like it? Not like it? Did you find it helpful? Please share your views in the comments below. Also, if you have any questions, any doubts, as I keep saying in my videos, if you want me to make a video on any other topic, then please comment karo niche and I would be very, very happy to oblige you. Friends, now let's come on to the bonus tip. What is the bonus tip all about? Common mistakes that students do in IELTS exam. So, let's see. Are you making a mistake kar rahe abhi? I have seen a lot of students give mock. Now, what they do? They either get disheartened by the marks they have achieved in the mock or if they get good marks, they immediately move on to the next mock. Friends, stop if you are doing any one of these two things. You need to start analyzing and evaluating your mocks. Just giving mocks are not enough. You need to also look for all the mistakes that you are making in the mock. And when you do that, you would find a pattern in your mistakes. Maybe you are under pressure. That is why you're making some silly mistakes. For example, question is asking you to select the option which is not in the category. And you are constantly forgetting to e read the word not. 
आप नॉट पढ़ते ही नहीं और क्वेश्चन सॉल्व कर लेते हैं और क्वेश्चन गलत हो जाता है यू हैव टू मेक अ मिस्टेक नोटबुक एंड एवरी टाइम यू गिव अ मॉक राइट डाउन द क्वेश्चन विच यू आंसर इन करेक्टली एंड देन एनालाइज वाई डिड यू आंसर दैन इन करेक्टली एंड बिफोर एवरी मॉक गो थ्रू दिस मिस्टेक नोटबुक एक बार देख लो पिछले मॉक्स में क्या गलतियां करी थी उसको ध्यान में रखो और फिर नया मॉक दो जस्ट रेफरिंग टू दीज मिस्टेक नोटबुक विल हेल्प यू रिमेंबर दीज मिस्टेक्स दैट यू मेड इन द प्रीवियस मॉक्स एंड यू वोट मेक द सेम मिस्टेक इन द अपकमिंग टेस्ट देर इज अ कॉन्सेप्ट कॉल स्वॉट सुना है कभी बेसिकली इट इज स्ट्रेंथ वीकनेस अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड थ्रेट एनालिसिस आफ्टर एवरी मॉक इवेल्युएट योर स्ट्रेंथ वॉट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर यू कॉन्फिडेंट अबाउट कौन से क्वेश्चन है जो गलत ही नहीं होते and then you also have to look for your weak areas this is also a uh, helpful if you are planning to make your study time table or making a revision time table most of the students only look at the score and not the mistakes after giving mock and yes yes remember this while checking your mock also analyze questions jisko aapne tukko mein sahi kiya hai koi question hoga jo aapko samajh nahi aaya aapne blind guess kiya aur wo sahi ho gaya ऐसे क्वेश्चन को भी एनालाइज करना है बिकॉज योर ब्लाइंड गेस वॉन्ट बी राइट ऑन द डे ऑफ द एग्जाम आप गारंटी देते हो क्या मार्क दोज वर्ड एंड रिवाइज देम एज वेल इवेल्युएट देम अलॉन्ग विथ ऑल द अदर मिस्टेक्स दैट यू हैव मेड सो विद दैट नोट आई वुड लाइक टू टेक योर लीव इफ यू फाउंड दिस वीडियो हेल्पफुल प्लीज लाइक दिस वीडियो बाय गिविंग इट अ बिग फैन थम्स अप एंड ऑल्सो शेयर इट विद अदर फेलो एस्पिरेंट्स हु आर स्ट्रगलिंग विद सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट्स इट फ्रॉम माई साइड फॉर दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई होप यूजिंग माई टिप्स you will be able to increase your band score in 30 days i'll meet you very soon in my next video lecture till the time we meet next as i always say happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarwa.com